everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's Patrice and Sharice, and we are overworked. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, oh my goodness. We just decided to do a check-in. I'm losing my voice, and right now it's <laughs> grading. Grading is due, and I, I'm just grading. That's it, just grading. I have 40 kids to grade. Yep. <laughs> I'm just laughing because I'm delirious right now. I'm so tired. I'm hungry. I worked a whole day and then I got off late and got home and I just, I'm exhausted. But Patrice and I really wanted to capture these moments because it's not always fun and games, you know. I mean, our lives are very hectic and as I'm talking to you guys, she's over here. <laughs> I'm working. She's working. She's I, working. I can't stop. And it's funny because I know when she's overworked by the way her hair is styled. <laughs> and she knows that I'm overworked by the way my hair is styled. So I'm a week and a half into bun mode. And I, I don't even want to say what I've done to my hair to get it to look like this. When I'm really prepared and I'm not overworked, I know what I'm going to wear the next day. I My hair is cute and, and cute little styles and it's all together and when I'm overworked I have no clue what I'm gonna wear tomorrow it's always a surprise my hair is gonna be up in a bun maybe maybe I'll switch it to the low bun tomorrow oh, <laughs> like, get a switch it up a little bit <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do to this uh, maybe I'll just do like a, a I don't know actually what can I do I don't know this is a really great time <sighs> for protective styling, which I do my own protective styling. Like, I like to do twists when I need to, like, just have a protective style, not worry like, about what? my hair, but I have no time. What can I do? I, I can't know. do twists. I can't do anything. You could. I actually, You'd be cute in twists. No. I have a coworker <laughs> from another um, corporation who told me that she wears wigs to work every day, and I was like, what? And I want to be able to pull that off. <laughs> like, I can't go to work now and interact with healthcare professionals with the wig on because I will be insecure and feel like it's going to slip off or something. If it shifts or something and I'm talking to people and I have to give, like, a presentation, can you imagine? I know wig life is difficult for me as a teacher because kids notice everything. Ooh. And I just can't <laughs> imagine, like... When I, when I come into the classroom, like, my nails, I used to wear acrylic nails, like, all the time. I've just decided to take a little break, get my nails healthy again, get them strong, save a little money, and it's like, the students will be like, what happened to your nails? I'm like, why do you know that? <laughs> like, why do you know? They know. They just notice everything, and I feel like if I came to class with the wig, like, I, I've lost my class. Like, I will lose <laughs> them. It will be over. <laughs> like they will be like confused, and, and they'll have too many, too much to say. Like way too much. They kind of do dictate. Like, I mean, there's a lot of factors that dictate how I dress to work. Like, I just never know what's gonna go ha gonna go on in the classroom. So I always like to just look cute. I like to have my makeup done because that'll be the day where we're recording, or there's yeah. pictures involved, or I have yeah. like a random meeting. So it's like. I just like to stay ready, even with just like a little powder, like something. Like I have a daily teacher makeup she does, routine. She does. She has a routine, and I it's need down to, learn. to a science. So like, no matter what time I wake up, if I'm late or not, mm -hmm. if I have 15 minutes, I know what I'm gonna do. And I mean, that's just good to have, like just in general. But yeah, it's like I have to look a little bit. I have to dress a little bit older because I look so young and. You know, I don't want to look like, and I have been confused for a child, for a student. I was like, aren't you the youngest teacher? <laughs> Probably. I don't yeah. know. I'm at least the youngest looking. So I've had people <laughs> from like the district come by and be like, I'm walking with my students. They're in a line, like, and the director of the district, um, he's like, hey, where's their teacher? I was like, it's me. He was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Like, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do because. I work with a lot of healthcare professionals, but I still want to look cute and feel cute at work. So I don't want to lose myself, but at the same time, I definitely want to look corporate. So with being the only black woman at my 
organization. It's just something that I'm always cautious and aware of, like how I represent myself yeah. and represent other black people. So I always am just more mindful of like how I dress or how I even wear my hair. Yeah, speaking of hair, I gotta get ready to go so that I can work on what I'm gonna do in the morning to mine. I'm not looking forward to it, but I just hope I can find a cute hairstyle that I feel confident in, that's corporate enough for all of these meetings that I have tomorrow. Language is like when students are learning two languages, which I realize not everybody knows what dual language is. And so there's just a lot of grading. <laughs> like there's just a lot of kids and a lot of stuff. <laughs> and I have to take like meticulous notes about English language development standards and there's just so much that goes into it so like I make the notes and then I like have them and then I like copy them into the grading platform and it just basically takes forever <laughs> like my whole entire life you know what I can compare this to is like being a doctor and having to come home and chart that's what it reminds but whenever I get overworked like this, I just think about how much my students love me, and how much I love them. I know. Did you guys see all of the gifts that Patrice received? Oh, yeah. Received? Please watch my Valentine's Day <laughs> teacher Valentine's Day gift haul because it was so cute. So cute. So... She's so loved. I, I couldn't get over. Like, it was just like one after the other after the other. And I was like, oh, my goodness. Like, I got to step up my game when... Samaya is in school because yeah think about your teachers guys <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hook her teacher up because I'm gonna remember all of the gifts that Patrice got for Valentine's Day this year <laughs> yeah they're super sweet kids like that's one like I'm really lucky in that department that like I always feel like I really have a good relationship with my students so it makes everything else I just always go back to I love the kids I love the kids <laughs> like that's <laughs> all I fall back on and even when I feel like my hair isn't cute or anything is cute like they're your little cheering community like oh I love your hair Miss I's like oh I love this I love that I'm like thank you <laughs> day eight like, like you know but they don't know they just love you so like that helps you know get and they're you... so honest because oh my yeah. gosh my little yeah. mini me adores Patrice it is my niece baby <laughs> annoying at times like I can't even get over it like if I'm on the phone with Trace on speaker or something and she hears her aunt oh my goodness she's like auntie it's beautiful auntie it's <laughs> wonderful let's go to auntie's house and she just adores Patrice but when she comes over to her house and sees like her in her new outfits or she's wearing new shoes Samaya's the first to compliment she's my Patrice. She's hype girl like she is <laughs> but anyways I'm exhausted yeah me too <laughs> working we gotta go. I gotta go figure out what I'm gonna do to my hair. And I know you gotta finish grading. Yep. Just... <laughs> Great. That's it. That's all I can do. But anyways, um, thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah, have a great night. We will. <laughs> See you in the next video. Bye.